Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Secretary General, Yasser al Nasser, made the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all ministries and government bodies to respond to citizens' needs through social media. He praised the role of the Bahraini press in addressing the needs of the people. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of conducting visits to cities and villages in order to meet those needs. His Royal Highness then directed to meet the needs of the villages in the western area of various services, especially infrastructure services. The cabinet then presented the outcomes of three field visits to Galali and Samahit and noted the cause of underground water leaks and His Royal Highness directed the concerned bodies to address the issue. The Minister of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs briefed His Royal Highness on the solutions reached to fix this issue. The cabinet approved using the emblems and signs of the Red Crescent for medical, civil and military units specialized in treating and transporting the wounded, the ill, as well as bodies in either times of peace or times of armed conflict. The cabinet also approved a draft resolution regulating the use of protective emblems and signs, stipulated in the 1949 Geneva Convention. The cabinet approved a decision to suspend the housing loans following its decision to postponing them for six months starting April of 2020. The cabinet approved a decision not to impose a financial obligation on individuals who have been in a car accident and have insured their automobile, provided that they were not the cause of the accident. The cabinet approved a draft concerning the electricity and water tariffs for the families of the martyrs. The cabinet approved a draft concerning a proposal related to housing requests for families who have lost their parents and have unmarried children over the age of 21 who do not have siblings who are minors. The cabinet then was briefed on the results of the Yemen Donors Conference attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al Mana, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Health, Ibrahim Al Nawakhda, and Assistant Under Secretary of General Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Manal Al Alawi, paid an inspection visit yesterday to Asham Al Hospital that practices optional home isolation for active cases. Dr. Walid Al Mana said the aim of this visit is to affirm the readiness of the center in order to serve citizens, which is in line with the directives of the His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Al Imam bin Hamad Al Khalifa and implemented by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. In Nawakda affirmed that the Supreme Council for Health is undergoing several tasks of testing in order to serve people whether for home isolation or treatment. The President of the National Institution for Human Rights, Maria Khouri, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken several measures and decisions that support human rights in general and the rights of the elderly in particular, especially in light of the current exceptional circumstances. She added that the NIHR has looked closely into the decisions and procedures in the Kingdom as well as the mechanisms adopted by the authorities concerned in treating the elderly in light of the coronavirus in a way to ensure their safety. She underscored the measures adopted in this regard, such as allocating the first opening hour of markets to the elderly and pregnant women, and delivering medications to the elderly, as well as assisting with the return of stranded citizens to the kingdom. Khouri noted that the kingdom has adopted many initiatives that were directed particularly for the elderly, but has benefited them significantly and ensured their safety. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,065 with 858 recoveries, 654 registered new cases and one death. The deceased, a 40-year-old male expatriate, was an active case of the coronavirus and had been suffering from underlying and chronic health problems. The Ministry of Health expressed its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urged everyone to ad adhere to the rules and follow instructions, such as washing hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contacts, in addition to covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible.